The Appleton East Patriots lost to Kettle Moraine last night in the championship, but still took home some pretty fancy second place hardware. And for the team, they rallied together a community and a father and daughter bonded on the court one last time. It was probably one of the games I would, I would take back and prepare a little differently, but proud of the girls, um, you know, cap, cap off to Kettle Marine. Despite falling behind by double digits and putting the reserves in, the Patriots supported each other until the final buzzer. I'm proud of us for, you know, staying together and just continuing to do what the coaches asked us to do and just giving it our all. For star guard senior Emily LaChapelle, this was the end of a stellar career. The Marquette commit played in her final game. And it was also the last time playing under her father, head coach Joe LaChapelle. Since day one, really, he's pushed me to be not only the best player, but best person I can be. And he hasn't, like, laid off me for a second. We've had, a, like, a ton of tough conversations, like, good and bad. Um, but I'm just, like, really honored to have, like, a person, dad, role model, you know, best friend like that um, to have coached me for this long. And for Joe, it was the last time coaching his daughter. She's me. You know, she is, except just more talented and... You, you know what each other's thinking, you know, and, and like today even, you know, her kind of coming up with, hey, this is what's going on out there. What if we try this? And um, so it's been, yeah, it's been fun. It's a blessing. I mean, very special. After the Patriots were awarded their silver medals and trophy, Joe and Emily shared a big hug, consoling each other over the loss, but celebrating a historic season. <laughs> Sharing that moment is just really special, and it kind of felt like, you know, the crowd went away, and which is us, so it was really cool. Emily had been playing through a lower body injury, and over a month ago, Joe thought they might have to shut her down. I told her I was proud of her, and then I love her. To have her push and persevere through that, you know, that's, I just told her you're a warrior. Just being willing to go out there and sacrifice yourself for everybody else, it's pretty cool. The players may have lost, but they rallied together a community. Many faces, young and old, came out to show their support for their hometown team. It's kind of cool to see that, really. I was, I was really, uh you know, kind of honored that, that they showed. And I think that's the kind of message that the girls won't necessarily understand until they're older. But, you know, they did, they did something really special for that community.